today my dad gets to experience what it's like to be an expat in Thailand because we have to do a visa run for my father believe it or not he's been here for over 30 days already and we just remembered on the last few days that he's gonna need to extend so I'm gonna head over to Maesai with my father and then go to Burma actually my mother and father are both gonna be in Burma at the same time I mean, <laughs> completely unplanned it so let's head off Burma. This is a cafe. Okay, so we're not quite in Burma yet. We are stopping for lunch on the way. We have come to Sawazdi Chiang Lai Cat Cafe for some food because they do good food here. For the first time ever, my dad has brought his glasses with him and has ordered, <laughs> has ordered his own food from the menu because mum normally does it for him because you know he forgets his glasses. Today he has the glasses, he's done it all by himself. So see, see mum, you don't need to order his food for him. He can do it, more than capable. Korean pork. I've just ordered a cocoa cinnamon smoothie. It came with four full tablespoons of whipped cream on the top. That is heavy. Sasha's gone for the healthy option. A beautiful tuna salad. I like how it's presented. <laughs> Lunch done, now it's on to Burma. When we first rented this car, I'd done 350 kilometers to a full tank, but I was using the wrong fuel. If you put E20 in your car, which is a different type of tire fuel, so much more economical, almost had 450 already and a full a quarter tank left. So use the right fuel for your car. I was using the standard 91 before. So if your car can take E fuels, like E20, E85, it's like a 25% uh, economy boost there. So money saving tip. <laughs> We've done this drive so many times up to Maesai. It's always different for some reason. It always looks different. No matter how many times we've driven, there's always something new to see, whether it's a different lighting or, I don't know. But today we've seen about two or three new cafes that have popped up that haven't been there before. And it just looks really pretty outside and really nice. No matter how many times we've been up here, we always see something different. <laughs> Nice. And we've made it to Maesai. Time to cross the border. They're having some trouble at the border. They need to see Dad's return flight printed. Keep that in mind, by the way. They need to see a printed copy because they can let you out of Thailand, but they won't let you back in on the other side unless you've got a piece of paper showing your return flights to wherever you're going. So keep that in mind, people. That's something we didn't know until today. Just at a nice little print shop, very old fashioned. Reminds me of my old traveling days with Sash. Um, getting some high speed ADSL internet so we can get our copies and then get through and get back. I have to say, this does feel like a very authentic travel experience. Having like done a round the world trip when we were younger, it's exactly what it used to be like. Every time you needed to go get the internet, you needed to find yourself a little shop and pay by the hour so you can get your prints and talk to your family. So it's funny how even after living in Thailand for so long, this experience can still be there. This will find yourself a little experience. So kind of fun still, even though it's a bit of a setback and we just want to get over the border, it's still kind of fun.
and now we're heading over the bridge. That's sorted. Now we're just crossing the bridge over into Myanmar. Gonna do the immigration stuff, go to the coffee shop, and then go. Well, we made it across the border without any problems in the end, so as long as we can get back with no problems, then successful day. But we're just sitting in our favourite coffee shop in Tachilek. I actually don't know what it's called. I'm going to go and have a look. It may be mistaken, but I think this coffee shop is actually just called coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they look colonial. But look at that, look at that one. Oh, yeah. think of these, the wire situation. Any better than Thailand? Oh, God. <laughs> it's funny how we've been here so many times, and yet somehow I've never looked up and had a look at the buildings. They all look very different. My dad says they look colonial, but never looked up, didn't bother to. Always discovering new things, <laughs> even in the same places. Yeah. That's Upaju. Yeah. You, you break it and yeah. you suck it. Uh, was it a fruit or a vegetable? Yeah, it's like similar to fruit. Uh. And it's called seed. Upaju. 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 My Swahili lesson for the day. just found out that you can actually buy drones in Burma. Right behind me, there was a drone shop. Can you believe it? My dad's just spotted his favourite Burmese TV programme, advertised. <laughs> This is the Pigeon Bathing Station. Oh, we're done. We're now heading back to Thailand. I've quite enjoyed it. It's felt very different this time for some reason. Probably because my dad's here and we had to do that little internet shop experience. <laughs> Took me back to the old days of travelling in internet shops. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I think he did too. Pass back into Thailand. It's funny though, really, because as always, um, visa and immigration situations change all the time. We've always been told land crossing 15 days, and now my dad's just come back over the border and got 30 days. So things change all the time. You can go and get advice, you can get told this, that, and the other, read the internet, but when you actually go somewhere, that is when you'll find out what's really happening. So there you go, bonus 15 days for my dad. Maybe he'll use them. <laughs> T-I-T, as they say here in Thailand, which means this is Thailand. Things change all the time. Can't really plan for everything. That was actually our last visa run, probably for a very long time up in Chiang Rai, because we're going to be moving soon. So that's a little bit sad, but we had a nice experience. It wasn't too bad. Just remember that if you don't have a proper visa and you do try and cross over there, they might make you go and print something out, but there's a lot of places around where you can do it. Don't forget to check out Eight Miles From Home over here, our cinematic series. And if you want to see more of these vlogs, click the A Day In A Life logo down below. And if you really enjoy watching these videos and you want to support our channel, please just like the videos and share them, or you can support us on our Patreon page. So, we will see you next time. Bye.